In this part, we will check uh, antenna to antenna coupling to vehicle when they are moving over a big city area. So you can see a car over here, another um, delivery van, another pickup car. So the pickup car and the uh, the sedan car will have antenna to vehicle to vehicle communication antenna, and we will move this vehicle uh, with respect to time. So you can see two seconds this vehicles are moved into a particular distance four seconds hit so all the vehicles are moving you can see the with respect to time it is uh, changing the locations so you will see different different antenna coupling with respect to time that's our idea so we can also create this kind of a animation using hfss i'm keeping one description link there you can see a, you can have a look how this kind of movement can be created in HFSS. So first of all you need to create some kind of a line in which the vehicle has to move and then using a move it tool for creating the movement of vehicle. So same can be animated using the animate option select uh, one of the CAD and click OK and specify the time in which you want to move your vehicle from 0 to 10 seconds of every 20.5 second interval. Click OK. Now you can see the animation of vehicle, how it is moving over the time. For better visibility, we can render this, uh, like disable the rendering of STL files so that you can see the vehicles are very clear. For better visibility, what we will do is we will hide all the, uh, the buildings. Now you will be able to see very clearly. how the vehicles are going to move with respect to time our idea is we will keep uh, one V2V antenna on top of one sedan car and one pickup one and then we will try to see the S parameters to one between these two antenna at a different different time so enable this wireframe display so that you will be able to place the coordinate very easily so i just placed on top of the on top of the car but there is a small correction we need to make sure the we need to make sure the coordinate cs6 has to create with respect to another geomet uh, coordinate so I am deleting this coordinate and I am taking a coordinate in which my car is aligned. So you can see if I change with my time, my coordinate is moving. So I need to assign a create a new coordinate based on this particular coordinate. Otherwise, with respect to car movement, your antenna won't change. So select that particular coordinate and then click on the location where you want to place your antenna since uh, this will be at the same location of a CAD we are moving 2 mm or 5 mm above the uh, metal surface and we will link the SP HFSS antenna design into SPR plus so instead of near field we will use far field because far field simulation will be fast faster compared to near field so enable the blockaging and everything click next next finish so now you will be able to see uh, the antenna is automatically came into 
HFSS SBR plus design but the orientation is different what you need to do is select that particular antenna uh, by selecting that mustache coordinate system select the antenna rotate it by 90 degree in x direction so it will align the antenna over here but you can see there is some issue uh, the antenna which is inside the metal so we need to properly place it so just check whether separation will make any sense still okay the uh, the problem is antenna is instead of radiating towards top side it is now radiating towards bottom what we need to do is uh, let's disable this grid view and visualize it okay the ground is top so we need to rotate this antenna instead of plus 90 instead of then move to minus 90 so that antenna will radiate towards up okay and you can also see the radiation pattern from the antenna there are some issues i think i have linking up design where, where there is no result that's what message says so i'll show you in the last in the end how to see the installed pattern from or ideal pattern from which versus let's keep uh, another antenna on top of a pickup one what you need to do is go to that particular antenna car and keep uh, uh, select that polyline which is associated with the vehicle and create a coordinate system so the coordinate system is there but somehow it is not visible so rotate it but uh, the one issue we can see we will see that correction so we will move the 5 mm above the surface so the rotations are not coming as we expected so let's do one thing let's correct the rotation delete the coordinate system and create one more time okay and while you are trying to rotate it it's going in some other direction which you are we are not able to control it there is an option in HFSS to control based on some selections so if you are not able to properly rotate your geometry go here select rotate with respect to screen center so that is also not working properly so go back again select rotate with respect to coordinate system this is working perfectly so the issue is uh, this coordinate system is hidden in the settings so let's enable the coordinate system so that it will be visible yes now we can see coordinate is created on the top of this car and we will move the car the z direction by 5 mm so the unit is currently in meter that's why it is in 0.005 and select the setup far field and assign proper antenna elements disable the grating and if you want you can enable the ground blockaging effect and click ok next and finish so you will be able to see the antenna is automatically came into on top of the on top of this uh, the pick up one so let me try whether this structure and uh, pattern is visible no i think my hfs design is having issue maybe the source design may lost the result so that's the reason okay the antenna geometry is coming properly but uh, radiation pattern is not coming I will, i'll show you that one in the later stage how you can see the HFSS pattern inside the SPR. So this setup already created and simulated in one of my another project. Before that, let's see the simulation setting. So we will simulate at 5.9 gigahertz. Since we are looking into this parameter, we are not checking the compute field. So this all setting is fine and we will set up the parametric simulation in the parametric 
we will set up the time from 0 to 10 seconds every 2 seconds or 1 seconds you can set it up and you will be able to see how which all parameter you would simulate it and just analyze this model let's go to okay before then analysis if you want you can even animate the structure and see which all parameter you are actually going to simulate it you also have an option to export this animation into gif or ava format so setup is ready for simulation now and before that you can also see uh, these two antennas you can assign one of the antenna as a transmitter and another uh, antenna as a receiver so that it reduces the computation time but because of that you will see the coupling is 2 1 between only between the transmitter and receiving antenna the other combination will be disabled and once everything ready you can analyze it so the analysis the model is already here with me on another machine so over here you can see the vehicle is here mustang and the pickup van also and you can also see the visual ray tracing how the spr plus is working it's assuming the micro signal is going as an optical ray so set this particular settings you will be able to see set the radiation and click ok you can see the rays are transmitting from your antenna to the all the CAD model which will take care of all multi-path effects and uh, uh, the direct coupling everything will calculate together and you can do a lot of uh, visualization effect like filtration based on number of bounds and you can see this is having five bounces here if you want to see only a couple of bounces if you want to filter it out yes now you are seeing the first ray which is transmitting from the vehicle to the buildings roads and other thing this is now showing the second first and second bounces so you can also see the third bounces which is happening in the computation so you can visualize or particular ray itself you can visualize or you can visualize everything together by disabling it okay so this will give you a pretty good idea about how the multipath is going to happen in your scenario simulations so let's disable this rendering so that the visualization will be very nice so let's change color of your car so that look pretty good and as I mentioned this model already having a proper linking everything so you'll be able to see you can enable the structure you can enable the pattern and uh, you can uh, even scale the radiation pattern size this is a antenna pattern coming from HFS's antenna simulation so it is uh, ideal antenna pattern from a patch antenna so that will come automatically and here we simulated 0 to 10 seconds every 1 second interval you can calculate the S parameter between the mustache to pick up one and instead of frequency change select the time variable and the family you select 5.9 gigahertz now if you plot you can see the coupling of 5.9 gigahertz with respect to time so it's slowly increase uh, the coupling is increasing then Duty multipath, you can see different different variations.